Here we go. Dad's got kicks. My man BB Sketch is in the building. Amanda, what up? First, I like that. Sketch you on point, my man. I was riding through Willingboro today thinking about you. All right, we in here. We in here. Let's bring in my man Efren. What up? Yo! How you living? I feel like it's been forever since we've talked. I know, man. It definitely feels like it. This is the longest <laughs> we've gone without talking, like a whole week. Probably. Yeah. yeah. But I just mean from the last time we talked on live, IG Live. That, 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 that felt too. like months ago. That too. Yeah. How you been, man? I've been good, man. As you can see, I'm like... I'm I'm like zero cares in the world right now because it's Father's Day. I I don't I'm not wearing any pants. I'm not wearing any you know anything. You know I'm just enjoying my life today. Hey, How about fair. you? How was Father's Day? Father's Day was was good. I uh, didn't want to do anything, but I ended up doing dad things like cutting branches, cut, cutting off drywall. Like <laughs> <laughs> I told Amanda, I was like, listen. You know, every year I have this one request. I don't want to do anything. Right. Nothing. Zero. Catch me on the couch. That's it. Same. I'm good. That's it. But then I'm like, you know what I really need to do? <laughs> and what then I just like. Right. Man. You know, last year I got in trouble. Your cousin, my wife, was mad at me because all I wanted to do was sit on the couch. And I got guilted into going out to dinner. Uh -oh. Yeah. I'm like, yo, don't you know that today I get to do whatever I want? You know what I want to do? Not a damn thing. But that, that, that wasn't possible. Yeah. But, you know, I enjoyed yeah. it. it, it Good. You know, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the hedges and the drywall. Well, I did. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so um, we're, we're flipping the script on you today. It's going to be a oh. little different. You know, um, but but first and foremost, happy Father's Day. You know, Thank you, you, man. Likewise. Yeah, you, you're you're the man. Um, I enjoy watching you and how you raise your sons, and um, and and of course, Cat too. You guys are you're killing it. Thank you, man. I feel the same yeah. about you, man. That's why I'm here. You have summoned me here because I have the same love and admiration for you as I do with all of the dads of Dad's Got Kicks. Yeah, ditto, man. I I keep looking at the pigeon with the uh, the hey. coffee. Cup. That's New York City right there, right? That's right. It doesn't get more New York than the coffee and the pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, we are flipping the script today. I'm nervous. Today, Esteban, you are on the hot seat. I don't have uh, a ton of questions for you, but as a team, right. we're going to do things a little differently. Yes. Uh, and and hopefully we get this right, and we're just not staring at each other and crossing our fingers and hoping for the best. But <laughs> what I'm gonna do, field some questions, okay. you know, get the seat warm, and then I'm gonna drop off, and then we're gonna start this carousel of questions. We're gonna have some guest uh, speakers coming in, yes. so it's gonna be like an episode of This Is Your Life, but not really. Yes, right, right. So I hope you're ready. I'm scared. All right. I'm down. All right. And you're in full control of this. You're driving this. So you're allowing people in and out as you please. So, so you could just call. I'm going to make wait till the end. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay. So, so S, first question. So you started off as a sneakerhead. We're looking at your timeline, right? And then you had kids. You took a break. And now you're back in the game. So tell me, um, describe to me your return to the game. It's like MJ coming back. You played baseball for a little bit. Yep. Now you come back. Uh, how much have you changed or stayed the same uh, when it comes to choosing a pair? That's a great question, man. Um, well, definitely now that I'm a father and I am, you know, financially responsible, the price definitely comes into play with um with my selection also because i'm a father comfort 
they used to be fashion over function and I would, you know, you know, squeeze into a so smaller size or live with a bigger size and double the sock just to be fresh. Now, man, comfort is king in my life right mm. now. So definitely price point, comfort. But in terms of, of how I select my kicks, it's always been I like to diverge from, from the norm. Yeah. Whereas I will have a Jordan one in, in my closet. My closet may have one Jordan. And the rest of them will be anything from kangaroos to Asics to Saucony to Reebok. Um, anything. I, I, I like to I like to be different with, with my fresh. So it's not gonna be the uniform. Um, it'll definitely be like, what the heck is that at times? But that's that's what that's what I get my kicks on. You know sure. I mean? Yeah. That actually ties into my third question, which I'm going to promote now because it ties oh. perfectly into it. So uh, you're employed by a pretty large music media company in a little town called New York City. Boom, small right. town. How important is the shoe in your field of work? How important is shoe game in your field of work? Um, it's very important um, to me for a number of reasons, and I didn't realize this um, until recently in my career, I'd say now that I am in a room where less and less of the hip hop culture is represented in the building and in, in my meetings, I'll say like, you know, I am a strong, obviously advocate and um, knowledge when it comes to it. But um, people definitely check your fresh as almost like a, a calling card, so to speak. They're like, is this dude like we know basically when I was out of the out of the sneaker game and, and it was a lot of uh, Chuck Taylors and Van Slip ons, but here's the hip hop guy coming in with Chuck Taylors and Van Slip ons like he looks so bland. <laughs> but um, now that I'm you know, I come in the building and, and I got a little excitement, you know, uh, about my style and my aesthetic. Mm -hmm. They take me a little more seriously. I've noticed that in meetings. And then when it comes to interacting, um, my job specifically, I um, produce talent. So when rappers or actors or, you know, artists come through um, and I have to convince them of the creative that I came up with to, for, for them to do on the show, if I got to sell a game or something like that to them for them to feel comfortable coming on, on the show on live TV and doing it definitely mm. helps if aesthetically I look like I'm cool. Like if I look right. fresh, they're like, all right, let me, I'm willing to kind of roll the dice a little bit. Mm. Um, one of my, one story, um, rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke <laughs> was um, someone who I had the opportunity to work with right on the heels of his, you know, super big record, um, Welcome to the Party. And um, I got him down to play this game called the cootie catcher remember the cootie catcher oh my Where gosh you open you know, the numbers and the <laughs> yeah. questions and the, so this super crip gangster <laughs> and his whole his whole dressing room was just full of like the goonest crips it was the most blue place i'd ever been to <laughs> and he was down wow was like wow that's a that's a you know feather in my cap right there i got you know wow i got the new 50 cent to do something out of his comfort zone, so to speak. And that was, that was dope. And that's because you established that, you know, almost like a trust thing. Yeah. At first it's like um, looking at you like, right. you know, and then they yeah. see a few of familiarity. They're like, okay, he got some, you know, he got some nice kicks on. He looks pretty cool. He's not going to make me go out here and, and act a fool or, you know, that's, look bad. that's Definitely interesting. the first line of defense in earning your trust. Right. Right. Now, um, it's like a handshake, right? So, like, if you meet somebody and they have a weak handshake, you're like, hmm. Yes. But you don't even have to do the handshake part if you just look look down. That's it. Just a quick glance. That's, That's it. it. Yep. Uh, what are your grails? Man, um, it's funny because I, I threw one of these in the chat the other day. My, I have, I would say I have two grails, 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 like, this is it. One mm. is the um, is the mid SB bear of the three little Ooh. bear pack. So oh, the one, oh, okay. The only mid I'll ever wear in my natural life. 
Wow. And the other one is the undefeated dunks that now Jordan is kind of playing off for the ones. Yep. Those two kicks are like grail to me. That's it. Yeah. But once you get those grails, it doesn't stop there. You know that, right? Hey, you know, <laughs> once I get those grails, it's just yeah. going to be like, I've achieved it. I am here at the mountaintop, and I'm going to still keep right. it fresh. I've got to. Beats, Beats by G-Scale knows what I'm talking about. Heck yes. He got his grills. Which we, we will. I can't wait to show that off. As, yeah, he as got to unbox those. Yes. Well, he did. He did. He's got a video already. Just kind of. I've watched it like seven times. Dang, pretending that <laughs> I'm behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the point of view. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's what that feels like. That's nice. Speaking yeah. of. Beats by G Scale. You see what it, see what I'm doing here? This I is see it. so um, Matt. I know that we're probably on like a five second delay. So cue yourself up for the live. I'm gonna drop off. We're gonna switch it up, Work. and then after Matt, we're gonna have we're gonna have our man um, uh, BB Sketch. Then he's gonna kick it off to Josh at the end, and then I'll come back. I'll come back nice. to say hi. All right. Sweet. Sound good? Yeah, man. That sounds great. All right. Let's see how this works out. All right, man. All right, I'm dropping off. Peace. Toya, what up? One of my favorite people on, on the planet. Amanda, what's up? My wifey's in here throwing mad hearts. Let me in. I'll let you in, Matt. Here you come. Peace, Gazelle. What up? Oh my guy S. And the grails are above. above <laughs> Since you guys are mentioning it, let me throw it up top for you. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Man, they are beautiful. What's up, man? Happy Father's Day to you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hope Thank you're you. enjoying that. I see you at the beach enjoying it with the family. Had a ball, man. That's dope, man. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying your day. You kind of had me nervous when you said you had no pants on. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's only from it's from my it's from my second chin to the top of my head, so you know you can't see nothing. Nah, I hear you. I hear you. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it with the fam. You know, I definitely have a question for you. Hit it. And this is regarding so a similar question you asked me with my wife. Oh snap! So you ready? Yes. All right. Has Cat ever suggested a sneaker for you that was worthy of copying? Yes. Cat, um, yo, there's been actually many a sneaker. Um, on our, on the weekend of our wedding, we went sneaker shopping, and we got these beautiful Court Force. Back in this was this was 2007, so they were like an army green upper canvas, and then the sole was like multicolored, fresh. It was like one of my favorite pairs. Then she bought me uh, the Easter, the, the chocolate bunny Easter dunks that were chocolate brown with pink, um, uh, with the pink toe. The, um, and some was exotic a, colors going on there. Yo. Yeah, she knows that. I'm, I'm wild Puerto Rican at times. The colors <laughs> come out. You know what I'm saying? Um, she got me those. She got me um, some, uh, some Bugs Bunny Jordans. Thing. She got the you a whole collection. Over. Yeah, she she she's definitely been down for the cause. I, that's what I like. See, I could call her my cousin. You see that? There you go. She got flavor. She earned it. That's what's up, man. Um, now she won't let me buy her sneakers though. She no? told, told me to return these kicks that I just bought her, but you know that's another story. Why is that, cat? <laughs> comment comment below, cat. I want to know why is that. <laughs> S got style. What are you talking about? Yo, she was like, uh, no, return those. I was like, okay. So are, you, are, are you saying that majority of sneakers she picks out for you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It seems like the majority of sneakers some, she's some, picking out heat. for you. It's some heat, but not the majority. Okay, okay. So what what would be the the hottest sneakers she picked out for you, in your opinion? Probably the... I wish I knew. I'm not. I, I don't know Jordan's past five. Which one of these ones with the straps that go across? That's that, I believe that's the Bugs Bunny one. Yes, that's the one she got me. Super surprised. 
they can, the, the day they I wish drop... I could throw a thumbs up. Can I throw a thumbs up in here for Cat? <laughs> I'm gonna throw a flame for Cat in here real quick. Flame. Word. He definitely <laughs> got me those on a That's complete what's up. whim. Like I was like, this is this is bomb. Yeah, she uh, she knows me. As a wife should. Yes, sir. That's a that's a an A plus for Cat. For sure. Appreciate you, Cat. Keeping the keeping the fresh uh fresh. There you go. <laughs> All right, man. I ain't gonna take too much of your time. We got BB Sketch coming up next. Back. S. Enjoy the rest of your Father's Day, man. Enjoy it. You deserve it. You're a great That's father. It. You're a hero to them, man. Keep it going, man. Hopefully, you, man. you guys inspire me to be the same way when I start to have kids. You know. You already. So you already thank you, man. Know. Uncle Matt is gonna be awesome, Daddy Matt, one day. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I'm <laughs> learning from the best right now. So. All right, bro. Peace. All right, bro. Enjoy, man. All right, my wife is getting a lot of love in here. No more wife questions. This is about me today. It's Father's Day, and that's what it's going to be. Love her. Love her. All right, Sketch, where you at? You. You. All right. Happy Father's Day, man. Likewise, man. I was cruising down your hood today. Not my hood no more. Wow, you gonna just disown where we come from together, bro? <laughs> <laughs> <Now. laughs> Town's my hood. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, happy Father's Day. Um appreciate you being a big brother. Happy Father's Day to all the other brothers in uh yes. Hicks community. Love y'all. All right. I'm a little tired, but my man got a paper, the paper and everything. Gosh, <laughs> I'm intimidated. No, nah, that's just a prop. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so my question is, what is what is the one shoe that you wore that you ended up walking out the house and getting clowned for wearing? Dang, what is the one shoe I wore that I got clowned for? Oh man, taking it. I'm gonna bring it back to um, to Wellingboro High School. I remember they weren't a pair of sneakers. It was a pair of construction Timbs. And again, I am always divergent. So Timberland had a line of sneakers that instead of the tree, it was like a gear um. on the side. It were Timberlands. They just weren't the standard issue. Everybody wore them wheat, you know, tan Tims. <laughs> they were, uh, I think it was a, a brown leather Tim with like a, a gear on the side. And man, I got destroyed. Oh, man. For He's... wearing those sneakers. I mean, those those boots. We got to, we got to find those, man. Google it. You gonna Google it right now? Yeah, yeah. You said a gear. It's a gear. It's a, it looks like a, a like a a bolt on the side. Man, I love it. Toy is like a gear. Yeah, <laughs> a, a bolt. You know, a screw, nut, whatever you call that's, it. Uh, yeah, that's probably gonna take too long to try to find. <laughs> you got <laughs> Are you fact checking me right now? That's a that's a Foreman Mills exclusive. That's what that wow. was. <laughs> oh, it was a, it was a, it was a, um, what's the other foreman? Not Foreman Mills. Burlington? That, no, the big, huge mall in, in up, up, uh, Northeast Philly. Franklin Mills. Franklin Mills. Uh, it was a Franklin Mills in the Timberland store in Franklin Mills. Excuse uh, me. I thought you were going to say those Jeremy Scotts with the wings. I, I would have been. Whoa! Oh, I know. First of all, I ain't never got clowned for wearing my <laughs> black patent leather Jeremy Scott wings. Yeah, man. All right. Well, I'm out. We're gonna keep this thing moving. I still, th I still say it's the Jeremy Scott Jones. I'm, I'm gonna hang up on you now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just Boop. Goodbye. All right, my brother Josh. I'm bringing my man Josh in now. Sketch is disrespectful. Disrespecting Jeremy Scott 
innovator in the sneaker culture, man. Amazing hey. design. What up, Josh? Happy Father's Day, S. Likewise, What's man. up, dude? Chilling, man. How you living today? I'm living good, man. It's a good day. You look refreshed, man. You look refreshed. Oh, dude. Vacay life right now. I'm yeah. on the heels of some rest and relaxation. Come on. The beach does that, right? Yes, it does. Hmm. Man, I can believe some uh, someone was uh, ragging on Foreman Mills, man. That's a good spot. Come on. Spend, you should know? spend all my money. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Same. That was my back to school go to. There you go. Kid. Absolutely. Absolutely. Stretch hey, those listen. bills. Oh, for sure. Listen, I got a question for you. Hit it. From the first time, I remember that first Dad's Got Kicks call, you jumped right off the computer screen because you said, I really don't like Michael Jordan. I'm really not a Jordan fan. You remember yeah, that? Remember that? I, remember, I so, live by it. Listen, I need you to unpack this for the okay. Dad's Got Kicks audience. All right. Why, why no, Michael? And what's your problem, dude? Come on. Right. <laughs> Come on. So, so before I go into this story, I will preface it by saying I respect Michael Jordan as the greatest basketball player of all time. Respect. My beef with Michael Jordan has never been about his skill set. Here's my beef with Michael Jordan. I grew up a 76ers fan. I wasn't even a fan of the NBA. I was only a fan of the 76ers. My aunt sang the national anthem at the Spectrum at every Ooh. Sixers home game. Okay. My other aunt was the, uh, was the supervisor of all the ushers at the Spectrum. My grandfather was the police officer who was in charge of the security outside of the spectrum. So I was on the floor at a lot of the Sixers home games when Dr. J, Mo Cheeks, Charles Barkley, Hershey Hawkins, like wow. that was the era of the Sixers that I grew up in. And no matter how great that team was, didn't matter. You know why? Because there was a guy named Michael Jordan coming out of the East that wasn't mm. letting nobody live. Mm. So playoffs, to me, wasn't good enough. I wanted a chip. <laughs> and wasn't going to get there as long as old big head Michael Jordan was in my way. Oh, big head Michael Jordan. Old milk dud head Michael Jordan is in my way of but progress. Listen, listen, I feel like you're softening up a little bit because I feel like you've been uh, picking up a few J's over the past couple weeks, months. Yes. Okay, so you're coming yes. around. You're coming around. I am coming around because he's out of the way now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the Sixers went to the chip with um, with with Allen Iverson. And, you know, we played another one of my Philly favorites, Kobe Bryant, rest in yeah. peace. And though we didn't win, I felt torn. I felt like yeah. I couldn't lose in that series. I wanted AI yeah. to win and my hometown Sixers to win. But the next best thing is hometown Kobe Bryant. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Legend. Legend. But listen, I'm pretty sure that Jordan's going to come out of retirement to avenge that comment that you had the other day about passing on the cement fours if they come back out. I'm telling yeah, you, he's going to put the shoes right back on, lace them up. He's coming down the court to win another championship. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, I think uh, I think Efren's going to wrap us up, right? Yep. But hey, man, happy Father's Day. I'm glad Thanks, we could bro. chat. Dad's got kicks. Community. Love you guys. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll catch you later. Yes, sir. Good hey, talking Robin. to you, brother. Yep. Peace. My cousin Efren. There he is. How was that? It was, you know, it was a little rocky. You know? I yeah. Felt like, you know, I felt like some people... You know, it started off with, you know, Matt just wanted to, you know, give my wife all the love. And that's cool. But she gets enough love, man. You know, it's Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, yeah. and then Sketch is going to come at some of my favorite, my favorite sneakers, my Jeremy Scott wings. I'm and, so sorry. Come on, man. And then I had to defend my hatred for Michael Jordan. This is yeah. maybe not going well for me. Did you say it was Rocky or you felt like Rocky? What are you talking about? Like getting beat up, but then you come back and it's, you know, 12th round. Well, maybe. That's a great story. Okay, let's so. Go with that. All right, all right. So let's play a game. Rock, stock, drop. Oh. You know the rules. Let's go. Oh, man. Rock. My, oh, my barber's on point. Thanks, Barry. My barber is me. 
I'm my barber. <laughs> Man, I'm going to the barbershop tomorrow. That, so uh, that was yeah, I, I paid him five bucks to say that. So go ahead. So my um rock and this is really no particular model. I can probably name thirty models, uh well thirty designs, but the high dunk. I will rock that That's forever. It. That was what I initially collected when I first started. Yeah. Getting my dunk collection up. So, um, and if I didn't beat the poop out of all my dunks and have to literally get rid of them because they were coming apart, then I would still be wearing them. But yeah. if I were to rock one sneaker for the rest of my life, it's a dunk high for sure. Real quick, what was the worst condition you ever worn out, like, in public? Uh, oh, in public. Um, yeah. There was definitely around the the – around the the stitching around the sole the the, the stitch that keeps the sole oh, onto the yeah. upper yeah so it was like doing a little the swoosh you're like flapping and slapping yeah. down the street <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but i tried man yeah i didn't want to let him go that's good stock oh stock um something that i want and i'll never wear you know what i actually i want another pair of OG questions. Red toe questions. This time, I'm not going to be all hunky-dory and put my feet in them. This time, I'll just let them sit. Right. That was, that's, that's, that's to me a sneaker that I will, I love it because it's art, it's beautiful, hexagon air bubbles and that red toe and the, the, the mesh netting on the on the tongue and it, it's just a beautiful beautiful sneaker yeah and the one i have i wear now i wish i had one just to just be a display model mm. put it like right behind you on your desk right yes gives you the confidence heck yes all right drop one uh if i have to drop one it's going to be the cement three i just don't get it which one the jordan cement three the black cement? All of the colors. I don't I don't understand. Oh man, I thought this was gonna be Rocky too. He loses in the first one, S. Come on. Yeah, man. Okay. Hold uh, on, let you... me I'm I'm waiting for my heart to Okay, we're good. <laughs> Rock stock. Drop guys, listen, tomorrow we're actually gonna start a series on this. So we're taking it out. From the the intros and, and creating a whole series on this, I'm excited about that because it seems to have been a, uh, a popular game that we've been playing. But um, back in April, I don't know if you remember, but you sent out a text to me and Matt, and you were asking questions, you know, where do you guys buy sneakers? Who do you follow on Insta? And then Matt was like, sneakers app. And you're like, sneakers app? And he's right. like, yeah, Nike sneakers app. He's like, no, I want to know what the sneakers app is. It was like, <laughs> who's on first? And then you just get to talking about stuff. And then we're like, oh, you're coming back into the sneaker game? And Matt's like, you left the sneaker game? And then we just got to talking. And it was nice because I think the way that you introduced the text was, we need a husband's group, a secret chat to talk about sneakers, right? Well, it's not so secret now that every, all our wives are up in this mix. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oops. that was it. Yeah, that was back in April. And then May 9th, and I was scrolling through our, our group text and going, oh, May 9th was when I said, uh, I, I just started this Dad's Got Kicks account. I didn't know what I was doing. I just opened it up, you know, just to grab the name. Grab the name, and then I'm like, now what? And I'm like, I need my guys. So I texted you, and then immediately you're like, hell yeah. This is, I wanted to do this, actually. This was kind of like stewing in your brain, right, at yeah. the time? Explain that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I have a podcast called Rap Dads. Um, I found that throughout my career when I talk about fatherhood um, with different people, I have a different connection. You have a different bond a different relationship, a different level of, you know, respect and admiration. And um, 
I was always one that, you know, I just enjoy those moments. So yeah. as someone who was kind of getting back into sneakers, um, I figure out what, what better way. There's no real representation for the dad point of view, the dad conversation. A lot of the, the content creators out there in the sneaker space are about, you know, wearing it and reviewing it or getting it early or, you know, how much can I, of it can I get or I flip it for this. No one's really coming from a nostalgic appreciation. No one's coming coming at the, the content, you know, from a mm -hmm. position of, you know, an, not an elder statesman, but people who've been in the game for a while, maybe in, out, in. And we, we're just on a different path than a lot of them are. And, you know, it's funny because I also reached out to Sketch and, you know, I was like, yo, send me some people who, like, will resonate with me when it comes to sneaker content because a lot of these dudes are corny or, like, you know, they're just, they speak another language that, mm -hmm. you know, that is not, you know, my vernacular, so to speak. But from our perspective, man, we are fathers first. Yep. We are husbands you know, we we have our priorities set. So we're not about to, to, you know, risk it all on a pair of sneakers and, and eat ramen noodles and live in the basement for a couple of months until we get back up. Like we got rent, mortgage, right. children, you know what I mean? We got vacations, we got stuff, you know, savings, investment. We got things going on in our lives, man. So I just wanted, you know, I thought it would be dope to, especially with you and, and the skits, you know, and just bring some humor, some lightheartedness, and some just real, real good, wholesome fun to to the game. Right. And it's not about my minds are better than yours or you ain't right. got these. It's more like, you know, laughing at our pain as dads um, who love kicks. Right. Allison's going to please know about the ramen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. So, <laughs> believe it or not, so today is uh, June 21st. May 12th was our first meeting. Right. Right? So it was you and I. It was Josh. It was uh, BB Sketch. It was Matt. We were just sitting there just brainstorming, just thinking of what the heck are we going to do with this? Because I think we all had a general idea, and we were just excited about just that. Just like, oh, my gosh, this is something new, something fresh. Explain to me from your perspective, now continuing on with what you were saying, of how this journey has been so far. So since May 12th, we got here. Listen, we started the contest, and all of this was a soft launch from, from that point right. up until now. Now we're, we're officially kicking it off. Um, we had before the contest, I think it was like 70, maybe under that number of followers, and it's gradually increased, and then we just saw it shot up with Homer Simpson in his underwear, wearing yes. some, some chunky dunks. And now we're over 200 followers, and it was, you know, we're 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 pretty much hitting our targets that we've set for ourselves, yeah. and we're in dream lofty, dream big, and um, it's actually we're at the doorstep of that. So I'm really excited. So what's your perspective on how this journey has been from? day one up until this point official launch work i mean for me honestly and this is something that i look toward um when i take on projects um is it's been sweatless man it's been so much fun um we will obviously there will be bumps there will be resistance you know nothing's going to be the easiest thing in life but i feel like um the team is so amazing and all of us, our specialties, you know, um, definitely complement each other. Um, yes. So, you know, when, when Josh is writing copy, I love it. When, when, when Matt is, you know, scoring the videos, it's dope. When, um, when Sketch comes through with a dad mowing the lawn and that we're all <laughs> like, yo, or even the fat young man that no one ever seen yet. Yo, those <laughs> things are amazing, man. So, right. you know, just – just the team, the cohesiveness, the gel that we've all, we're all cut from the same cloth. So that, that definitely is a beautiful thing. But um, what I've loved about the journey most is, is the behind the scenes. I feel like I have a, uh, a therapy group. I feel like we're all like, you know, <laughs> kick that. Kick it out. 
and like every you know just the chats that go on between us like yo did you get a did you get a w no we all took l oh <laughs> uh, you know like that those things i don't feel alone anymore you know what i'm right. saying i'm not in my yeah. own head that's right yeah <laughs> I see a lot of oh, man. jump mans in the chat. <laughs> he he'll make an appearance one day. Yes, for sure. Missing missing that layup, th tossing up that brick, point brick blank. City. For sure. Yeah. Well, that's it. The hot seat portion of this is over. I want last. I want to thank you so much for all that you've done leading up to this point, and happy Father's Day again. But uh, we do appreciate your hosting skills. We love that we we're able to flip the script on you today. Yeah. It seemed to have worked out nicely, though. I think we should do this more, where we bring in other people, you know? Yeah, for sure. So, um, real quick, uh, we, we just have some things that we want to throw in at the end here. As you want to start off with our winner for the contest. No, you start off with that. I don't have that. Anymore. I'll start off? Oh, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> so, congratulations. Congratulations to the winner of the launch day contest. I'm not sure if she's on, but it is Mandy B99. Congratulations, bye, bye, Mandy bye. B99. Uh, we got in, in, in touch with her. She is receiving her $200 Nike e gift card. That's amazing. She said, oh, my dad is going to be so happy. And I was just like, man, that's why we do this. That's what it's all about. So congratulations, about. Mandy B. 99. Yeah, that's right. That's what it's all about. Uh, more news. Should I keep going? Yeah, well, first of all, your wife's name is Amanda B. So is, did you did you rig this whole thing? What's going on? <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy B, really? Oh, man. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, that's it for me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Guys, be sure to follow us for more content. As we officially launch today, uh, we have tons of stuff lined up, um, plenty of videos, skits, photos, sketches, collabs, just a ton of stuff. Stay tuned. And last but not least, and as was said by all the other fellas on this live, happy Father's Day to everyone in the community, uh, everyone watching and all our followers. S, it's been a pleasure, man. This Likewise, was fun. Man. Yeah. Anything else you want to say to the followers? No, man. I'm excited. Uh, definitely follow along because you are going to, um, you're going to enjoy the stuff that we're going to roll out, man. And if you're unfamiliar, go back into the feed and check out some of the stuff that we posted. But Homer in his draws and the promo video for, uh, for the contest that that we just announced the winner for is it will be enough for you to be hooked. You will thank me later. I promise you. That's right. That's right. And with that, thank you, everyone, for coming along. And uh, S, thank you again. And we'll see you all soon. Have a good night. Later, y'all. Peace.